latest on July 9th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The remnants of Barbara and Cosme persist in the eastern Pacific without any danger. Invest 92L could become a tropical cyclone in the Gulf of Mexico later this week, the National Hurricane Center giving an 80% chance of formation. It's July 9th, 32 storms have formed so far around the world. There's a look on day 39 of the Atlantic hurricane season at 92L over Georgia right now, likely to move out into the Gulf tomorrow or the next day. Day 56 in the eastern Pacific where two uh, ghosts of storms continue to live on and nothing active elsewhere in the world right now leaving just those three systems that we're talking about and no uh, active tropical storms that are currently uh, existing so in the grand scheme of things not too active right now here's our top story invest 92 l currently at 20 miles per hour and 10 11 millibars uh, there is its position it's around 32 degrees north uh, 83.6 west which puts it 43 miles from Albany Georgia uh, continuing towards the southwest uh, this evening and uh, will continue to do so over the next few days as well as we watch it here moving out over the uh, northeastern Gulf of Mexico and this is what we think might happen could become a tropical storm and then uh, sailing along the uh, coast of the United States and eventually uh, we don't really know where its final landfall will be, or indeed how strong it will be, could be on the border of Louisiana and Texas. Wind shear is going to be low in the area, you just saw briefly there on that graphic, the eastern Pacific looking like this, uh, pretty good numbers in the main area there. The western Pacific is a mixed bag right now, the Philippine Sea at low latitude is looking decent, and in the North Indian Ocean it is very hostile across the board. So let's take a look at the satellite imagery of what's going on in the North Atlantic first of all. So you can start to see convection blowing up in the area where 92L is supposed to be. A very weird invest in which we don't really, we can't really put a center on it right now or indeed a possible center. We really don't know where exactly it is but things will start increasing in terms of rotation I should imagine uh, very soon indeed and that convection starting to blow up as we enter the evening hours across the whole southeastern United States. The eastern Pacific looking like this. The remnants of Barbara still going and still uh, recognizable as they pass south of Hawaii's Big Island. Cosme there as well still persisting neither of these systems are going to deliver anything a few rain showers over the big island of hawaii today the western pacific uh, things looking very quiet here as well a very small disturbance or two down there in low latitudes but nothing has been tagged as an invest and nothing on the cards for the next few days uh, more massive blow-ups over southern china however not tropical related but could by the looks of things there produce a flash flooding risk. The southern hemisphere looks like this, Australia and South Pacific, a blow up there to the north of Fiji um, and not too much else going on in this region at all and in the Indian Ocean um, again a very quiet scene here um, over Bangladesh looks like a little area of uh, thunderstorms there but really a very quiet basin. Sea surface temperatures look like this right now. Uh, in the Atlantic, you can see how they are very warm just in time for this system. They have really warmed drastically in the last week, 30 degrees plus, as is the case in the easternmost Pacific along the coast of Mexico. Um, the rest of the Atlantic is continuing to warm up as well. We might be starting to see some tropical waves develop uh, fairly soon, maybe. Uh, the North Indian Ocean looking like this, 28 degrees or more in most of the basin, particularly in the Bay of Bengal. And in the Philippine Sea, that is the world's hot spot right now, 30 or even 31 degrees Celsius over a large swathe of the ocean there. So here's a look at the remnants of Cosme. Uh, hardly anything left of this system it was just about holding on to its last piece of convection last night uh, and you can see now it is really gone uh, and that is the last you're going to see of Cosme this time around and this is what uh, a close-up of the region where 92L is somewhere underneath all of those clouds but you can see how they've been developing throughout the day and blowing up more as we enter this evening we'll see what happens there and some fascinating looking blow ups over there in the North Carolina as well just about popping over to South Carolina now. 
So at this point of the year, this is where we are in the uh, naming lists. The next name in the Atlantic will be Barry. In the Eastern Pacific, we're looking out for Delilah. In the Central Pacific, the next name on the list is Akoni. In the Western Pacific, the next name here will be Danas. And in the North Indian Ocean, Hika is the next one uh, coming up as well. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website, which of course has the latest information, uh, force13.com. You can also find our YouTube page, search Force 13 All in Text, subscribe if you haven't so far. And you can find our Facebook and Twitter pages as well, search Force 13 on there too. If you'd like to get in touch, you can send a message through any of those mediums or in the comments section of this video. Uh, but that's all for now, another update coming up tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.